Alrighty, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone. This is Dirtedus. I'm Shade. How are we doing? Thank you, Frosty, for correcting me <laughs> on which um, female hero in the game we are trying to cure. Not Philippa, but Saskia. <laughs> I knew I'd mess that up somehow. I was double checking the spelling and everything. Ah, what a doofus. Anyway, I have updated the titles appropriately in the streams now. So tonight we'll crack on with some more stuff in the main story. Well, side story and main story is heavily linked actually. So that's what we're going to be doing. Where, where is it? Is it that one? Yes. So tonight, now Frosty, I probably need your guidance on this. So I believe the Harpy contract will probably just happen as we do stuff. We still need to get some royal blood. Uh, hunting magic first. Okay. Talk to Philippa at her home. Excellent. That makes sense because we've picked up the herbs already. That's our plan. Thank you, Frosty. And so Frosty royal blood moves along in the main quest to try for that last. All right. Thank you very much. Let's see if my anticipation as to what we're going to do tonight to try and cure Saskia actually works. It may not. Huh. That's fine. We'll just see what happens. All right. Hunting magic. Having been poisoned during the council meeting, Saskia was dying and nearly everyone who supported her cause now prayed for her health. Among her allies, however, were those who did not believe in gods or at least in divine intervention. Lady Isleheart, the kind, the kind of woman who rolled her sleeves up and started casting spells when things got tough, fit this description. But when Geralt learned that a magical artifact was one of the ingredients for the Dragon Slayer's cure, he reasoned that Philippa would be the ideal consultant. Therefore, he decided to have a chat with her at her house. Let's go and do that. There's still some other side conversations we can have um, with some of our pals in the inn. We might save that for a bit later. So he doesn't knock, just walks in. Ah, he heard noises. Ah. Hmm. Who's your friend? <laughs> what is it, Witcher? Who was that girl? Cynthia, a leashed sorceress. A charming expression. Do you also use muzzles? Leash means a connection between a sorceress and her assistant. An unfortunate term, I admit, but it explains how things are. Cynthia can tap my power, use my spells. She's a conduit. And she's learning along the way. Ah. It's convenient, and except for the name, not derisive at all. But you're not here to talk about Cynthia. Uh, Vito, this is not Yennefer. No, this is Philippa Isleheart. We, I'm assuming, don't get to see any glimpses of Yennefer for quite some time if at all, in in this game. <sighs> all right, so let's um, let's talk about a few things. So uh, looking for Trista. Oh, man, we've got so many things to talk about. All right, let's, let's just get the feel of Philippa and what she's doing first. How is it that King Radovid's court sorceress and advisor is supporting rebellion in Edirne? This has grown into more than a simple rebellion, Witcher. Prince Stennis's arrival here confirmed Saskia's right to represent Edern. Saskia isn't fighting for Edern, but for the Pontar Valley. Even Prince Stennis considers you rebels. He hasn't moved against you because war with Kedwin hangs by a thread. Why are you here, Sorceress of Tredegor? It is my duty. If Henselt occupies the Pontar Valley, Redania and Temeria will respond strongly. The North will disintegrate, its unity gone. A dark scenario that is nevertheless avoidable, provided Saskia is successful and wins the Valley's independence. Even if she thwarts Henselt, there'll be no independence without agreement from Redania and Temeria. Temeria's expansionist plans melted away with Foltest's death. Redania's ruler is unpredictable, but even he'll have to respect a victory. I'm here to make this victory a fact. Lots of politicsliness. Mm. But yeah, Philippa does look a bit like Yennefer. Hey, she's got um, bluey eyes that are almost purple. 
Um, there's some annoying lighting that's flashing at the screen a bit when uh, she's talking, but anyway. All right, let's talk more about Saskia then. Is what they say true? Did Saskia kill a dragon? Prince Stennis decorated her for it at the court in Vengerberg, so it appears to be true. If you want to know the details, talk to Biggerhorn. Apparently he witnessed it. All right. What do you know of the Kingslayer? Have you heard about a witcher's school? Apparently the Viper's their sign. No, why do you ask? The Kingslayer wears a medallion adorned with a viper. Pretentious and childish for my taste. He can't be very smart. <laughs> We're still gonna ride so far. A sorceress like you ought to know bundles about the wild hunt. A sorceress's knowledge has nothing to do with superstitions. The hunt's not a superstition. True, the phenomenon seems to exist. I want to know everything there is to know about it. It's strictly atmospheric. It doesn't interest me. Just as whirlwinds, whirlpools, and snowfalls do not interest me. <laughs> uh, all right, well, we've got the immortel herb. I found an immortel. Excellent. Well, that exit of that. There's what's it's so glowy right here. My medallion detecting. Something over here as well. No, nope, cannot get into that nightstand. It's a bit of a lighting fail of the engine, to be honest. You wanted to discuss something? Yes. At the council, you mentioned artifacts were needed to undo the curse. Hmm, but I can't look for them now. I can do that. Why? I have my reasons. Tell me something. What happened here three years ago? Henselt attacked Edurn, but met his match. Nobody won that war. Sabrina Glefesig got into a conflict with the Commander-in-Chief of the Kedweni forces, and this led to both armies being rooted. Fireballs turned the battlefield into a flaming tomb. Henselt accused Sabrina of using a forbidden weapon. And Sabrina cursed Henselt. I think so. I suspect the curse got out of hand because of the circumstances. Circumstances? The stars weren't right, wrong phase of the moon. There's always an excuse for simple bungling. She placed the curse while burning at the stake. Her hands oh. and feet nailed to a wagon wheel. I'd say she did a good job considering. Damn, that's rough. Oh, that's right. So the battlefield, I forgot about that. The battlefield nearby is cursed with undead and ghosts with like a weird mist around it. So that's another thing we have to fix in the near future. Gotcha. Let's talk about that another time. I'll let you know when I learn something. You wanted to discuss something? Magic artifact. You said we'd need a magical object to cure Saskia. Any ideas where I might start looking? Magical items do not grow on trees, as you know. Luckily, this area has a long history. There's the Battle of Wraiths, the site of Sabrina Glevesig's death and suffering, the abandoned mines. I was hoping you'd be specific. I won't ask you to traipse around with a divining rod, but please try to be a little inventive. Ask the locals, that's always a good place to start. I dare say Alderman Burden knows every last stone in the area. Maybe you should see him. Okay, that is what we shall do. Talk to Cecil and some of the others. Once we've looted the shit out of Philippa's little house. Because that's what we do. The looting in this game just seems very... I don't know, it's just a thing to go and do. Not very uh, inventive or tricky. You just go to the stuff and collect it blindly. A few coins in here though. All right. Okay, so... Oh man, there's people everywhere. Alright, so that's where we're going last. So let's make our way over to here first and then try and make our way down to these two. Talk to all three townsfolk. Little dwarven town is... I'm starting to get better at navigating it, Frosty. Especially after running around doing all the... Uh, 
dice, poker, and arm wrestling side quests. Hey. Saskia needs help, Cecil. Philippa can produce an antidote, but she needs a magic artifact to do that. Would you like a fern and a dancing worm to go with it? Listen, I don't know about magic, but there is a place. As long as I can remember, it's been of interest to sorcerers. They say it's a very strong intersection. Look for magic there. Where exactly is there? Mm. Seek out the ruins in the forest beyond Bergen. There's a place of power there. You can't miss it. Why so glum? Saskia's a tough girl. She'll bounce back. Keep your head up. Thanks, Cecil. All right. No, Witcher. I thank you. Save that lass, and you'll save my town. Oh, cool. all right. The first guy I talk to knows the answer. I thought Cecil was down further in the map, but I must have... Misunderstood it, never mind. Find the place of power which Cecil Burden mentioned. I assume we are making our way up to here somewhere. I'm assuming that loops in there. So if we go loop, loop, tunnel, 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 tunnel. Theoretically, let's see. Frosty, this place is absolutely a maze. Let's see if I can handle it. What's this? Clad in hues of green, amid shrubs he's seen, crouching on legs bent, catching flies to rain. A bored skeletal waiting in ambush? That's supposed to be a frog, to be honest, but your answer's better. <laughs> cool, cool riddle. I like it. Good luck finding it. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Frosty. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Uh, now... I want to go down, I think, unless there's a tunnel up the top here. No, down we go. Yeah, this map doesn't help. The, the actual area is not too awful. Then we go up and around here. It's not great, but the uh, map that Geralt has doesn't help a lot either. Seen better maps before. I look like an idiot as I check it every two seconds to make sure we're going the right way. And you, my love, do you trust the girl? Saskia. But I trust your vet, and he trusts her. I don't think we'll get through this in one piece. We knew it might not from the start. Lighten up, silly. Yeah. Let's enjoy the weather while we still can. Lighten up, silly. It's not all doom and gloom yet. I'm on the right track, yes! Navigation! So, could be through there or be in this, and it's more likely to be up here, right? And we open this. Let's save and click the door. Aha! This is nice. Out into some foresty, lakey area. Hello, fellas. Oh. What's going on here? Ah, you finally given in. Started killing humans. Hey, Witcher. Started that a while ago, actually. <laughs> Just wasn't something society was willing to acknowledge. Fortis death. Society acknowledged that. You know there's a price on your head. Yeah, huh. I know. Too low for the risks involved, though. It's a bundle to us, Witcher. We have to pay for everything. Weapons, food, information. Jorvid send you? Jorvid will never learn of this. Oh, alrighty. Bring it on. Oh, steady. Oh, Geralt. Come on, man. Yeah. All right, let's focus out. Focus on the archer. Fucking hell, let me get over there. You guys are so rude. Oh, there's two archers. All right, well, let's lock onto this one. One down. Roly poly. 
There we go, second archer down. Oh, I should have blocked that better. Yeah, I uh, I saw your warning, Frosty, right as we were in conversation. I'm like, oh, I wonder if it's these guys I gotta watch out for. You know what I should be doing? Gwen shield. I keep forgetting I've got that. Ow. Careful! He's killed some tough fighter! Sure has. I'm gonna add you to that list. You dodgy bastard. Don't risk it! We need to take him alive! Not gonna take me alive or dead. Whoa, we are getting low on health though. <laughs> oh, we got cocky. Oh, we got cocky. We are not battle prepared with um, potions and such. Now, oh, hang on, hang on. He's killed some tough fighter. <laughs> All right, we have a finishing move queued up, but we need to first take out the dwarf. Shit. One down. Why is the X button not working? <laughs> I pushed at the X button. I must have to push it and then click to attack, do I? <laughs> Damn it, that was going to be such an awesome finish. Well, all right. If we're going to be traipsing out into dangerous areas, why don't we put on a swallow potion anyway? Actually, a rook and a swallow. We've got plenty of herbs for making more. It is. Um, I do like that it's easier to make potions in Witcher Two than in Witcher One because I don't have to collect all the alcohol bases. All right, well, we'll slap him this time then. Come on, get up. Oh, come on, you dickhead. All right. Don't risk it. We need to take him alive. Archers first. We are doing worse this time, despite having buffs active. Fields are up. Careful! He's killed some tough fighter. Sure has. We need to do more repost moves in our combat. Try and using an Igni, hey? That's probably not a bad idea. I also should use more Ards. But I am also trying to conserve our... Um, Mana for Quen shields, they seem to be super valuable. But thank you for the suggestion, Rich. It's a good idea. I might uh, try some of my key bindings quickly. Oh, he's fallen. No, no. Huh. I thought he'd fallen down. No, it's the elven uh, guy on the ground. All right, you're down. And the finishing move didn't seem to work. How's that adrenaline finishing move thing work? Maybe I need to learn about that again. The little adrenaline bars filled. Anyway, mission accomplished. Uh, so which 
That's that's Yurden. Uh, there we go. Seven. Number seven is Igni. Try Rich's suggestion in future. Need to make our way around here somewhere. Continue into the bush. Whoa, there we go. You guys look unfriendly. And when he soldier, yep. Yeah. Nice one, Geralt. We need more of those moves. Made of your arse. Oh no, I timed that terribly. I'll make mitts made of your arse. <laughs> Fail. I'll make mitts made of your arse. That's better. Alright, I like that reposting. That works well. Hello, Elvin. How are you doing? Welcome to seeing me fail at combat for a bit until I eventually figure it out again. <laughs> Only Triss can touch that soldier. <laughs> That's right. He better not forget it. Oh, there's another one. Eat shit and die! Uh! Think not anymore. Oh, we got some uh, neckers down here and soldiers. What are we fighting first? Neckers. That's a bit better. Just gotta get my blocking and retaliations. Oh, spinny twirl chops. Love the spinny twirls. Elven, we did indeed choose the elves or the non humans. We've sided with the Scoyatel. Um. You gotta pick a side. If I'm forced to choose a side. For the time being, I'm not gonna choose humans, because humans tend to be dicks. Now I need to figure out how we're getting up here. I think I saw a ledge around here before. Can we jump up? No, we can't jump up. How about we put the sword away? Okay, so... How are we climbing up there? That's the question. You think this path is more complicated or longer, but worth it because of a cool boss fight? Awesome! Well, the town layout is super confusing on this path. Now, the question is... Further to Frosty's point earlier... How the hell are we supposed to get up there? I assumed we had to get up here and then climb up here, but I see no climby prompts, so perhaps I was mistaken. Gormith is lame compared to Roche. Yeah, I mean, I still don't like a lot of what the Scoyotel have done. 
Exploration, hey? Must more explore. Grab some herbs whilst we're out here. Oh, we got some orans. What was it from? Oh, it's from a dead guy. I was going to say, why did we get <laughs> coins off the plant? It wasn't a plant. Be careful, it seems Geralt can't survive even the smallest fall. Oh, actually, that is Witcher 3. There's technically no falling or jumping in The Witcher 2. So we should be safe for now, Rich. That does mean you don't get to enjoy me having any hilarious fails when it comes to acrobatics in this game. But it will come. When we get onto Witcher 3, I will give you your lols. Don't you worry. <laughs> Can we jump up here? Oh, come on. That's got to be climbable. So, Elvin, once you choose your... He barely does shit. <laughs> Can we climb up a, a, a rampy bit and then just leap over the other side or something? I feel like this is deliberately... A little bit ass about. A sense of power of... There's a power there, yeah. And we... And the map doesn't really offer any clues either. So can we get up? Oh, hang on. If we go around here, can we climb up something here and jump across there, perhaps? Let's try that theory. Space to jump. No, space to uh, to roll, but only when in combat. So Frosty Roach's path leaves a bad taste in your soul, though through no fault of his own. Ah. Whoa, there's a harpy. How many more can there be? Well, it's only the first one, Geralt, so don't get too upset. Oh, no, now there's a few more. This will help with our contract. We do have a contract to kill harpies. Harpy down. Now, is this... Oh, I think my little theory might be working. All right. Elvin, you remember Kedwin's King doing something bad in Roach's Path, so if we can avoid that, better. Okay. Oh, so far so good then. A hey, exploration pays off. Can we jump? We can if we do the automated... Some shit. Stand there and get attacked. All right, I won't block. I'll just hit you. <laughs> oh. oh, that was a short retaliation window. Combos, yes, spinny combos. Go, Geralt, go, go, go. Duck, dive, dip, duck, and dodge. Oh, the camera's a little shaky. But it worked. Got some good combos in there that looked cool, but yeah, a little bit shaky. Yeah, Grizz, we can jump only when we receive a pre-scripted prompt. <laughs> All right, let's grab the books and just read the new books we picked up. White Flame. Emir Vam Emrys. Among all the rulers of that time, one cannot omit the Nilfgaardian Emperor, known as Death... Uh, was it Daithwen Adan Yin Camp Ape Movud? Movud which means in the Elder Speech, white flame dancing on the barrows of his enemies, kings of the Buina, who the Yaruga trembled at the sound of his name. His legions of steel-clad soldiers crushed countries under their heels. 
and cast monarchs from their thrones. In his insatiable ambition, he tried to conquer the North on several occasions, yet he had been forced to sign peace accords each time. Though he does not appear in our story personally, his long shadow often fell over the events I describe here. Emperor Emir, the White Flame, he is also mentioned in the books and the TV show. The Emperor of Nilfgaard, aka the, the, white, the white Flame. <laughs> the power of jump is forbidden to mortals. <laughs> Yeah, so it's fantasy where you uh, reach into a scrabble bag and just pull out some letters to get the names. Some fantasy names are awesome. There were some brilliant names in the um, in the Baldur's Gate series. But also, The Witch is written by Sapkowski, who is um, uh, Polish as well, so that's going to influence some of this. What have we got here? Magical Crystal. Okay, well that's that item done. So now I assume we turn this into Philippa Frosty and then we get on to the next step. Is there a fast way back? There's not a fast way back, is there? Okay, I'm just going to try and... Didn't explore very far out this way. Oh, we can just jump down here. Nice. So that was downwards jumping only there. <sighs> Uh, so isn't uh, Emir Ciri's blood father or adopted? Uh, yes, I believe so. Yes, I was going to say grandfather, but no, no, no. Uh, yes, because he, him and Pavetta had Ciri. I'm not sure if that's meant to be kept secret or not, but it's... At least revealed in The Witcher 3, and it may have been revealed now in the TV show and thus somewhere in the early books, but I'm not entirely sure on that. So if someone knows the, the timeline of information reveals better, please let us know. into the little town now where we need to go we need to make our way all the way around to here so we are here we need to go around to here unless this door passes through to the other side what was that oh, but it does have oh careful put that away oh we don't want to upset people we already upset a guard once by running around with our sword out. Biggity. Don't even need these supplies anyway. Crafting materials. All right, this did not lead us to where we want to go. And this shortcut across. Not really. Oh well, we're going to get Geralt's step count up. Uh, here, all the way over here. Jesus. Such running. That's about running too. Through there and up and across there. What's going on? I'll say it again. Humans are strange. Actually, since we're near the vendors, and I just picked up a whole bunch of weapons before, I'm going to quickly check if there's any Kedwini Black Sword. No, our current one is slightly better. Check all the weapons. Yep. See, when they're to marry, they become terribly picky. Have to check. Let's trade. Sell all the heavy weapons that we just picked up earlier because we don't need them and we'll take the coin. Thank you. Yeah, saved. Onwards. Now this will loop up here and across to here. All right, now we're in business. Running is good for you. Yeah. Apparently. Well, 
one of the reasons I thought, oh, if I play VR games and I um, install some locomotion uh, trackers so I actually have to physically move my legs to, to run, that could get me in shape. Or kill me. <laughs> All right, Philippa Idleheart's quarters. We are here. Next part of the quest, please. You wanted to discuss something. Yes, I found the crystal. I found one of the ingredients for Saskia's cure. Show me. Interesting. Getting warmer, but still not there. It's as if I'd sent you to get me the sun and you'd brought me a candle. We need something massive, an item of real power, Geralt. This right. is a dwarf's dream. Stolen and magically encased in this crystal, it would do if it were stronger. You know what this means? In addition to normal harpies, there are Solano in the area. Solano? Dream Snatchers. The only harpy species to develop something resembling intelligence. Oh. They magically bind dreams to mountain crystals. I heard they once inhabited this area. Solano live among regular harpies, but their lair should be full of stolen dreams. One of those would be powerful enough, I'm sure. You'd have to enter the harpy lair through the quarry. Unfortunately, the gate to the caves is locked and Cecil Burden won't open it. I asked him on another occasion. Stubborn as a mule, that one. But we must not relent. Saskia clings to life by a thread. Let me show you the desire contained in this particular dream. Don't be hasty to judge. Hmm. Yes, I can feel it. Whose dream is it? Cecil Burden's. In that case, I need to see the Alderman. Got a feeling he just might open the gate for me. Okay, so those weird harpy queen things are supposedly intelligent and can snatch dreams and it just happens to be the dream snatched into the magical crystal we found belongs to Cecil, the alderman, the chief of the town. All right. Um, sex is going to suck. Okay. <laughs> and uh, Rich, the silver sword. We've only got one silver sword. Although it would be nice to get an upgrade at some stage. It's still doing okay. This is, um, er, was it Erondite, which is imported from nope. The Witcher 1? Because we imported our save from The Witcher 1. But I thought I had read that it's best to hold off on crafting until about Chapter 3. But I'm open to ideas if people know better than that. Okay. Harpy lair, please. I need to get inside the harpy lair. No chance. I know all about the harpies. They steal dreams, collect them. I found one, but it proved too weak for our purposes. I need a stronger one. So I'm asking you nicely. Open the damn gate. Listen, Witcher. I want Saskia to recover, I do. But don't ask me to turn this town into a circus just before we battle Hensalt. My grandfather locked that gate for a good reason. Imagine if we could all go in there to look at those dreams. Dwarves, peasants, their Scoia'tael, Adernian nobles even. All seeing the desires of others. Terrifying. It would be the end of Vergen. What's more, legend has it the oldest stolen dreams can become reality. And I don't want nightmares stalking Vergen's back alleyways come nightfall. Open it. I'll make it quick. Stop pissing me off. You're acting like a drunk suitor. No means no. You know, don't know if I should mention this, but the dream I found belongs to you. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's an embarrassing affliction, I imagine. Hell, even something of a political liability in your case. Some might even call you a freak. You're the Alderman. An ages-old tradition is vested in you. On top of that, you now lead the preparations for Vergen's defense. You wouldn't dare. Imagine your ancestors carved in stone. Condemnation, not pride on their bearded faces. Who knows? Maybe you'd keep your office, but you'd be the talk of the town for ages. What is it? And your nephew. Poor kid. I'll open the gate. I promised Scalen's mother I'd be sober as a judge to the end of my days, and I aim to keep my word. I don't give a damn about ages-old traditions and piss on loose talk. But you're right. I cannot compromise Vergen's morale. You must bury this thing. The secret dies with you, never to be spoken aloud. Understand? I do. Thanks, Cecil. 
and good luck staying sober. Right, so he doesn't drink, but he has... Uh, so is it implying that he doesn't drink and he doesn't want to drink and break tradition? Or is it implying that he's trying to stay sober because he doesn't want to, you know, fall off the wagon? And Pipark, welcome! Yes, got harpies. Time to go battle some harpies. Some more harpies. And I'll drink some potions in a minute too. But very convenient that the one that we found just happens to be... <laughs> Happens to be the uh, the dream crystal we needed. So dwarves are meant to be drunks, but he doesn't drink, and thus What's this? upsets tradition. He doesn't want to stick out. Yeah, okay. He wants to be in with the cool kids of the dwarves for his political. Uh, successes. Thank you, Elvin. I was wondering what that meant. Take care, what's up? Oh, now, also, we need to spend some talent points. We've got five talents. We should be getting... Six. Oh, I must have saved one. Anyway. Um, whirlwind is maxed. Uh, what did we want to get here? Lodging... Guy, oh, damage reduction. It's all maxed. Sudden death, instant kill chance, no. Critical effects, not yet. Now let's block more damage. And be just generally tougher. Nope, that's already maxed. Okay, then signs was the other thing I was going to look into. More ard. More axi. Haven't used much axi. Sign damage, sign intensity and vigor. Let's do that one. All right, I think that'll do for now. Save and continue. Let's go drink, friends. I'm gonna get as drunk as a lord. Why is that? They stole it. The plowing bird stole it. My dream is gone. And then what's the grin for? Night after night, I dreamed of my dead wife for years. Let's go for some liquor. Drinks on me. He was having bad dreams. Did he have a dream crystal? I don't know. Anyway, he's happy now. That's the good thing, right? And this is... Let's check this way. No. Who are you? Greetings, Batgirl. I'm glad to see you again. Again? Flotsam? The fire? Funny how these things work. I'll never forget that. Oh, unimportant. Needless to say, I'm deeply indebted. Hmm. Sorry. No need to be. But I feel I should pay you back somehow. I've started anew here, you know. That always builds confidence. Sure I can't tempt you with something. <laughs> what do you mean tempt? Is this what I think it is? It is if you want it to be. We elves might seem strange by your standards. You saved my life. A bit of joy as recompense is not too much to ask. That's not necessary. As you wish. Though you realize I'll not offer again. I thought we were going to hook up with her for a second, but uh, apparently not. Geralt says no. <laughs> Time to get a car. I was singing the same Grizz. I'm like, oh, Geralt's going to have to uh, step up to the plate, but... Um... Apparently not. Is this the right way? It's, nope, this is someone's house and there's no loot. All right, back out we go. <laughs> you do get some lengthy uh, scenes in this game too, when, uh, when they do happen. As we've seen, even with Triss, Now, uh, how far are we away from the cave? Not sure yet, because I will want to potion up before we go in if we're going to be battling more harpies. Gentleman Shade is boring. It's not my choice. I would have done it. I would have clicked it for you, bruh.
didn't get the option. I wonder if, if there's something you can do to get the option? He just said it's not necessary. All right then. Sure, Geralt. Are you sure it's not necessary? There's so many places of power out here. Strange. I smell sulfur. Ooh. Examine the corpses in the dwarven catacombs. That's the other side mission we have. Uh... Let me tell you how I solved a crime in Vergen with a bit of help from Geralt, who started the whole thing by talking to the elves, Elias. Elias thought he would need a witcher, but had no idea that a poet would prove the key to the case. Young men, both elves and humans, were being murdered in Vergen. The elves said their bodies were being found near a burned village located at the mouth of the gully leading to Vergen, and subsequently being interred in catacombs beyond the town. Geralt took it all in and began to wonder if he should go to the crime scene or the burial site. All right, well, we'll still hold off on that in case, because we're not going necessarily into the catacombs. We're going into caves, right? Get the loot off the body, though. So, Rich, no spoilers. You wait for Witcher 3. It's R18 plus for a reason. We look forward to that.